hello guys welcome back in this react chess video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can hit the api through the redx in react application so when we are uh, using the react application with the redx then most of the time we hit our, uh, our apis through the redx so how we can do that so in this video i hope you have understand the basic concept of uh, react js and if you don't have the uh, knowledge of the basic concept to then you have to watch our uh, basic uh, redx structure video which is given in the description box you can watch this this video before watching this because this in this video i am going to just show you how we can call the redx uh, how we can call the apis in the redx for the structure and how it's going to work you can watch our previous video until i am going to give a very brief introduction of uh, the structural flow so let's get start so just take a structural flow first of all uh, just go to the index file in the index file i import the redx react redx and redx from i got the provider uh, create store and middleware and here i got create store function used on the root reducer and what is the root reducer i am i am just going to tell you and uh, use the provider uh, around the app to use a store value in all applications all right so after that uh, this is my uh, action file here we i'm going to logic logical work and this is my reducer here i'm going to get the data from action to the reducer so this is my app file from here uh, on this is my ui file you can see that from here i'm going to click the buttons this dot props dot uh, add to do function and this function will uh, going through through the container and here you can see that in the container i just app import the app here create the two functions here you can see that these are the redux internal function in the map dot state to props we get the state back after the logical data and in map dispatch to props function we hit the function from app file this is the function which is calling on the hit hit on the button click and after that it will go in the action file uh, action file is imported here and just after the action file it will automatically go in the reducer and after the reducer we will take it in the this dot state dot this dot props dot state dot id we will get it here and after that just it will come back to the container and state.id will stored in the to do's and you can print this to do's on the console so let's see is it printing or not so in our logic uh, we must have to result of the 10 7 plus 10 so let's check is it giving or not so it's giving so that is going that means it's working so now let's see how we can hit the apis in this so for that uh, I have to remove. Uh, we can comment this function just for now. Just write the, uh, just write action from start, export, const, add to do. You can put the same name here, and if you want to pass some data from your function or you can pass some parameters for the post api you can get it from here and if you don't you can put it the blank so now just uh, use the dispatch dispatch is also a redx by default function and it could be any type it can be string or whatever we want string in float or whatever it is so this is the uh, uh, function we made now just hit the api we i have this facebook api you can uh, this you are also provide in the uh, description of the this video so that you can get this api so you don't need to make a new api from your backend so for, for testing so just copy it and you can take the url here. let const you can put this just take it as a string all right so 
now just uh, do one more thing Oops. we can use the URL like this alright so now just use uh, let result and in the result you can use the fetch API and just pass the URL here in this API and now you can use dot then function dot then why we use the dot then function because in the dot then function we got the uh, we can resolve the uh, promise because API always uh, the fetch function will always return the promise so so we just have the data in this parameter so for uh, and this is in the uh, now the JSON format to the convert in the JSON format you can write the data dot JSON function simply and you can use dot then and you can use the data JSON here yes that's fine Mm -mm. Let me check here. What is any error is here? That's fine. Mm. Oops. I need one more parameter here actually. All right. So now it should be fine. So now just write console dot uh, in action so I just want to check that is it working or not In the action and we can put here like what we can put data JSON all right and here you can take uh, return you can return the dispatch function here simply dispatch here and in the object you can write that you can write the just take the two parameters here all right so this is the add so first of all just check that uh, are we are going to get the data in here or not if you got data here then we can we will pass it here so before do that we need to one more thing because this is the uh, asynchronous request so that we need something middleware to handle this for handle this we uh, actually we are going to use the redx thumb so for redx thumb for you can just use nbmi redx and just simply install this it will take just some moments and until we can import it into the our index file so just write right here just simply import and import redx Thunk from Redex. This is the same package name, right? Right. So let's check. Yes. So now just start the npm here, and just after that, uh, we have to wrap our. Uh, oops. We just uh, uh, wrap our store with the middleware, and for that we just I'm going to just uh, comment this line and use this one. And in the create store we need one more 
one more parameter which is apply middleware which is com uh, which is uh, imported from the redx and here you can use the redx thunk all right that's it i think that's it so let's check uh, we are not able to find redx thunk why they are not able to find redx thunk all right so let's check it Mm -mm. Oops, it's Redux Thunk, not React Thunk. Yes, so now let's check it here. What's going on? All right, so in action, we got the data here. That's amazing. So now we can simply pass this data to the ID or you can put the whatever you want to name here I'm going to just simply ID because it's the in the flow and just uh, remove this from here and come to the application file here you can check API data so simply click on this button and you can see that check API data and here we have the same data titles and movies are here you can see that same data is here so all right thanks for watching this video and guys uh, the example is uh, uploaded on my github repository so this link is also given in the description box so the main important links are given in the description box you can check all all of them so thanks guys thanks for watching and if you have any kind of spec specific query you can ask me in the comment box you can ask me on my facebook page or whatever you want thanks guys thanks for watching